What's going on guys, Stein back with another video and today I'm going to talk about a hack that will improve your productivity by a lot. And what I mean by a lot, I mean like you will get a lot more done than you actually thought that you would have got done in the first place. <clears throat> and that hack is by scheduling your day the night before on either Google Calendar or on your phone. Or on your, uh, or on writing it on a piece of paper or something handwritten. Um, so recently, I have used Google Calendar and I've also used with paper and pencil. Paper and pencil is way better in my opinion, um, just because I'm old school. Um, but you guys may like Google Calendar better if you're more of an online person. See, I'm very old school. I like things the old way. I don't like this online thing. But obviously, I'm adapting to the situation. Uh, obviously, because I'm talking to you guys right now over a screen, but I'm adapting to the situation by providing you guys value by telling you these two things right here will improve your life and your productivity because you realize how much time you actually are wasting and how much time you actually have. Like once I did this yesterday, like because I wrote them down and then I crossed them off as I did each one. I'm like, wow, my day is flowing and like I had way more time in the day than I thought I did, you know. The other times I would just scroll on my phone, scroll on social media, scroll on, like I've talked about this before, delete social media. It's like useless unless you're producing content. You don't want to consume a massive amount of information, but like you want to actually live your life. You don't want to live it on your phone. So like, that's why when I do consume stuff like that, I consume videos like this, consume videos like, like you're watching right now, videos that are going to make your life better and not just mindlessly going through the motions of, you know, because we have information at our fingertips and it's crazy because like information is just there, but like we don't actually use it. So it can be a downfall sometimes, but let's go back to writing down your day. Wow. This is just makes the most difference in the world. My, my mentor, FedEx Fearless, talked about how this will literally skyrocket your success and your protect, your productivity, because like, like I said before, you realize how much time you're actually wasting and how much time you actually have in your day because we all have way more time than we actually thought we did and this is going to take your life to the next level and once i started because i've done this before in the past like i don't know if it was a couple months or a year ago or so when i did this and i noticed my my productivity just just upped same thing with uh deleting social media my productivity just upped and then when I stop doing these things, when I read on that social media, when I stop playing my day, you know, like it's known as my social or my productivity went down. It's like you have to find in life, you have to find a trend, a trend that you do that works for you. Everyone's different, but there are things that work for certain people. You have to find what works for you and stick to that and not, you know, go off of that. And I don't know why as human beings we do this, why we get off of that. Like, for example, when I go to the gym at like anywhere from 4 to 5 to 6 a.m., it's like a really good workout. But if it's any time later in the day, or like my day is like really good if I get go to the gym at that time. But if I go to the gym later, my day is kind of iffy. But like, you know, realizing these trends and like going back to that, like, you know, my day is so much better when I get an early morning workout. And I realize that, like, a really early morning workout. I'm talking about, like, like I said, 4 or 5, 6 a.m. But once you realize these trends that you have that, like, just skyrocket your success and your and your productivity, you got to stick to them. And it's so hard for, for us human beings. I don't know why we stop doing them. It makes zero sense why we would stop doing something that works. Like, you know, something like meditation, journaling, like, Meditation, journaling, visualization, doing all these things, exercising, reading, like, but just doing them more on a consistent basis, like every single day, like by not taking days off because momentum is the key in life. Literally, momentum is the key in life. And if you're addicted to pleasure all the time, smoking weed, drinking alcohol, smoking your vape, drinking coffee, caffeine, all these stimulants that you're putting in yourself, you're addicted to all this pleasure, yeah, it's going to be hard to go back on your routine and stuff like that. The hardest part of starting, I remember Robert Kiyosaki and Rich Dad Poor Dad, he says, the hardest part is starting. It's literally the hardest part. Once you get started, 
everything after that flows and everything after that is easy because you're out of because momentum like i talk about is the hardest thing to get going momentum is by far like the hardest thing to start once you get it going it's easy to keep going this is why it's very important to not to not get out of your rut and not and not lose your momentum because that's the most powerful thing that you have on earth is energy and that's literally that's what momentum is is energy you do this okay now you're gonna do this now you're gonna do this now you're gonna do this like somebody asked me the other day why i was gonna go hang out at the bars and i literally told them you know i can't do that i got goals and ambitions and and they literally told me and they're like hey, what does that have to do with tonight you know blah 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 and i they don't understand that's what i'm teaching you guys everything you do is a habit and everything you do matters so if I were to go out that night and drink, you know, spend wasteless money on that alcohol, I would have been more inclined to do it again and more and again and again and again. It's like, but that's not the life I want to live. Life is a matter of decisions we make and choices we have to make. It's literally a matter of sacrifices. You either live your life in pleasure or you live your life in pain and you get delayed gratification later on in life. And... It's literally a matter of choices. That's And I didn't make it this way. I've said this before. I'm not the rule maker. I didn't do this. This is just how life is. And this is how we have to choose to live our lives. Do we want to choose to live our lives in pleasure? Smoking weed, drinking alcohol, smoking vapes. I, talked about, I just talked about this. Caffeine, all these stimulants. Every stimulant that gets your mind not in fully control of yourself or do you want to get delayed gratification? Do you want to actually do something with your life? Do you want to actually work out, build a body? Do you want to start a side business? Do you want to read more books to get more knowledge to implement in your life? Do you want to... Well, those are the three main things. Work out because they take the most time. Like if you think about it, if you think about the extra time that you have, you either have extra time that can be used to like work out and work on your body or it can be used to drink alcohol. Like, the more that I think of it, those are the two main hobbies people have. They either go one or two roads. If they, if anyone has any free time, they're either going to go to the gym or they're going to go drink alcohol and hang out with people. Usually those are the one of the two habits that people do. If they have any free time, because every single person looks forward to the weekend. They look forward to the weekend every single day. And it just, it kind of just, it, it just like looks at it and it's like, why? Like, I I specifically remember Ty Lopez saying, you know, if you don't your life, if you don't like your life Monday to Thursday, you hate your life, and that's true. And you can just see it on on people's faces, like on a day to day basis, how they talk, how they dress. Like, if you look at people, actually pay attention to them, like you can tell if they actually like their life or if they absolutely hate their life. And you know, this is probably not the most harsh way of of listening like you guys wanted to, to get this information out but it's the truth like it's 100 percent the truth you can tell if somebody hates their life by the way they're acting if they if they get angry all the time if they're if they're happy like because emotions come and go and it's like you could be happy you could be sad but it's like on a day-to-day -day basis you have to make sac you have to either make sacrifices that's going to get delayed of gratification or you're going to live your life in pleasure and be broke your whole life and it's a matter of choices because a lot of people just want to be given stuff by having pleasure, 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 pleasure. And then they want to be given a lot of money or be given a lot of this and this and this. And it's like, but they didn't put in any work. So it's like, it's one of these two things where it's like, okay, you're going to have to choose. You're going to have to make a decision here. You either live your life in pleasure by consuming everything that's good for you and that you like, or you live your life in pain and do everything that's good for you that will make you a better human being, that will make you a better person, that will improve every aspect of your life, or you just live your life with pleasure and consuming all these all these stimulants that get you not actually who you are. Because who you really are is who you are when you're not with, you know, alcohol, for example, fake confidence. That's what alcohol does. It puts you in fake confidence you get more more inclined to talk to new people you wouldn't talk before. It's like, okay, you couldn't do that if you're sober. Like, this this stuff that just, it drives me insane. Like, how people need all this stuff. Like, but I mean, you get it. I'm not like I'm against fun and alcohol and all this. I'm not, I'm not against it. Like, I just traveled 
recently and I just got back and this makes me think of things more and it just makes me think of things of like okay I'm gonna go out if I'm gonna go out I'm gonna do it on a special occasion on a holiday like for example Halloween Fourth of July, St. Patrick's Day. These are like holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Like, and it just makes more sense to do that because that makes you actually live your life. But people do these things on every single weekend, every weekend, every weekend, every weekend. They're going out to drinking, and it's like, do you hate your life that much that you look forward to every single weekend that you can go out and drink with your friends and enjoy a weekend? So you can hate your life Monday to Thursday? It just makes no sense to me. I went on a huge rant right there, but that's a video. It's going to up your productivity. It's going to really improve your productivity. Just schedule your day either on writing on paper or on your phone, Google Calendar. Either one will work. It'll make your life 10 times easier. That is the video for today. Like the video, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and we will see you in the next video.